coach doesn't speak English, so it was really crazy to be playing with a coach that don't really speak English and, you know, how you communicate with this guy. So when we have a translator, we got to talk to the translator. He got to translate what we say to the coach. And in my mind, I'd be like, is he really telling the coach what I'm saying? So it's us, and then, you know, we have the rest of the guys here, that, the local players. So, you know, just that whole experience, just, I feel like I'm at high school again. My high school team, uh, it's like a whole bunch of young guys trying to really learn how to play basketball. And in my 18 years of being in the NBA, I've never been able to dribble the ball up the court since high school. So I got to learn how to do all that again. Never got a chance to shoot the ball like this, pull up threes, and just play free. I never yeah, play basketball here, and be a part of the culture, try to fool, um, meet so many people. I've met millions of people from the elderly to the youngest, and they've all been amazing. They've been great people, always smiling, and always just thankful and happy. Bringing me a lot of fruit and stuff like that. So I've been eating this. Like, I've never seen an orange like this, really. Yeah, my coach doesn't speak English. So it was really crazy to be playing with a coach that don't really speak English. And, you know, how you communicate with this guy. So when we have a translator, we got to talk to the translator. He got to translate what we're saying to the coach. And in my mind, I'd be like, is he really telling the coach what I'm saying? Uh, but but then you know I really like the coach man he's a real he's a real good guy uh, real tiny real tiny his name is Bobo and he's always smiling my teammates man I got some really good teammates and I know it's three Americans it's me Troy Brown Dee and then there's another guy named Adam and then one of the coaches Akeem he actually coached in. Uh, NBA. So it's us and then, you know, we have the rest of the guys here, the, the local players. So, you know, just that whole experience. Just, I feel like I'm at high school again. My high school team uh, was like a whole bunch of young guys trying to really learn how to play basketball and they want to be great. And so it's like you got to push them to the limit. And then for myself, it's like, whew, I got to go all the way back to the beginning, the whole drawing board when I started playing basketball. And it's, it's a lot of fun. And my 18 years of being in the NBA, I've never been able to dribble the ball up the court since high school. So I got to learn how to do all that again. Never got a chance to shoot the ball like this, pull up the threes and just play free. I never had this opportunity in my whole life since I was in high school. So it's like, I gotta, my body, my mind and everything gotta get used to, used to this. And so with my teammates, you know, it's been great having them because they've been, they've been amazing. And shooting and playing, oh my God, I can't wait. And I think it's disrespectful for people to talk about competition level here. Obviously, a lot of these guys haven't played in the NBA, but you have a lot of guys, professional players who come from different areas of the world who play in this league or play in Taiwan or play in the Philippines or play in these many different countries. I think it's very disrespectful to disrespect all these guys just because they didn't make it to the NBA. The NBA only has 450 slots. It's gonna be hard for everybody in the world to make it to the NBA. So it don't mean that they don't have talent. It don't mean that they can't play in the NBA. It don't mean that they're not good. It's just the NBA might not be for them.